OnePlus has long offered a flagship phone experience, or at least close to it, at a much more affordable price. The latest in the series, however, is the OnePlus 9, and it pushes the price even more than OnePlus has in the past. And other manufacturers have been making better value phones too, chief among those being Samsung. The Galaxy S21 is much cheaper than the Galaxy S20 was, at $800. But before the Galaxy S21 came the Galaxy S20 FE, a phone that kept all the best things about the Galaxy series, while cutting costs where appropriate. Right now, you can get the Galaxy S20 FE for only $600 from Amazon, which is pretty incredible. With the Galaxy S20 FE still available, and sometimes at a much lower price than the OnePlus 9, you might be wondering which device is right for your needs. So, which phone should you go for? I've used both and put them head to head to find out. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support my work and I would appreciate that support. The first thing to notice about these two phones is their design, and they're a lot more similar than you might think. Both devices have an edge-to-edge -edge display on the front, with the hole punch cut out for the front-facing camera, though that on the Galaxy S20 FE is in the top center, while on the OnePlus 9 it's on the top left. The back of the phones looks almost identical. They also both have a rectangular camera bump on the top left of the back of the phone, and while it looks fine, it does look a little dated next to phones like the Samsung Galaxy S21. Around the edges, both phones have a USB-C port, a volume rocker, and a power button. The OnePlus 9, however, also has a ringer switch, and I really appreciate that OnePlus still includes a ringer switch. Ultimately, the phones are similar enough to where I don't really prefer one over the other. If I had to pick one, I would go for the Galaxy S20 FE. The displays on the phones are very similar too. Both devices offer a 1080p resolution with a 120Hz refresh rate, and they look great. They're not as good as the displays on the more expensive siblings, but really, they're more than good enough. I found that I really didn't miss the higher 1440p resolution that you'll get on some other phones, and I care a lot more about the higher refresh rate. They also both get pretty bright, and colours look vivid, and they're more or less the same size, making them both great for mobile gaming and watching videos. Under the display, both of these phones have an in-display fingerprint sensor. The sensor on both phones is a little badly placed, right towards the bottom of the screen. That makes them a bit difficult to reach. That said, once your finger reaches the sensor, you want to be using the OnePlus 9. OnePlus hasn't said what sensor it's using, but the OnePlus 9's sensor was fast and accurate the majority of the time, while the Galaxy's sensor was a little slow. The speakers on these phones are both fine. They get pretty loud and they both offer stereo experiences, though the Galaxy S20 FE's speakers did seem to offer a little more depth to them. Of course, perhaps one of the biggest differences between these two phones is their performance. The Galaxy S20 FE generally offers last generation flagship performance, compared to the OnePlus 9, which is a real 2021 device. That's not to say the Galaxy S20 FE doesn't perform well though. In reality, you're unlikely to notice a difference in performance between these two phones. The Galaxy S20 FE offers a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor, coupled with 8GB of RAM while the OnePlus 9 steps things up to a Snapdragon 888 processor with options for either 8GB or 12GB of RAM. Whether you're gaming, multitasking, or anything else, both of these phones perform extremely well. They both feel super responsive too, thanks to the high refresh rate. As mentioned, the OnePlus 9 will outperform the Galaxy S20 FE, but in day-to-day -day use you can't really tell. The same is true for the battery. Both devices come with a 4500mAh battery, and they'll both get you through a full day of use and into the next day. In other words, both devices offer a good battery life but it's not a multi-day battery life like you'll get on some other phones. That was confirmed by my battery test, which involves streaming a YouTube video over Wi-Fi on full brightness. In the test, the Galaxy S20 FE ended with 77%, while the OnePlus 9 ended with 75%. The Galaxy S20 FE might be slightly better, but not a lot better. Then there's the camera, and it's probably the biggest point of difference between these two phones. First, the specs. The OnePlus 9 has a triple camera system, with one 48 megapixel main camera, one 50 megapixel ultra wide camera, and one 2 megapixel monochrome camera. The Galaxy S20 FE, on the other hand, is a little more versatile, offering a 12 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. Considering the inclusion of a telephoto camera, I much prefer the Galaxy S20 FE's setup. It's a lot more versatile, and as such, can come in handy in more situations. That's not to say that the OnePlus 9's camera is bad, though. OnePlus has partnered with camera manufacturer Hasselblad for the OnePlus 9 series, and the hope is that the partnership results in better photography. Ultimately, Ultimately, the OnePlus 9's camera is pretty good, but not amazing. That's par for the course for OnePlus, which has long made smartphones with good cameras that still don't quite reach the heights of the Pixels, Galaxies, and iPhones of the world. Compared to the Galaxy S20 FE, the OnePlus 9 performs fine, but the Galaxy S20 FE seemed to be able to capture deeper colours with better detail. Add the fact that the Galaxy S20 FE's camera is more versatile, and the device generally is the way to go. The OnePlus 9 can capture some pretty excellent video, though. The device can capture whopping 8K video at 30 frames per second. 
Considering the last generation processor, the Galaxy S20 FE is limited to 4K video at 60 frames per second. Nothing impacts day-to-day -day use more than the software, and the Galaxy S20 FE and OnePlus 9 offer radically different software experiences. The OnePlus 9 comes with Oxygen OS, which is relatively stripped back and offers a near stock experience. I like that. It helps make the software a little easier to navigate and a little cleaner. But the Galaxy S20 FE has Samsung's One UI, which isn't as clean or stripped back, but offers more features for customization. Many prefer those extra options. There is an area in which it's not really down to personal preference though, and that's software updates. Unfortunately, neither of these companies are great at delivering updates. Samsung is only just rolling out Android 11 to many of its flagship phones, and we're already heading towards the release of Android 12. OnePlus was part of the Android 11 beta program, but some of its phones have yet to get the update. At this point, it's a little hard to tell which company will be better over the lifespans of the phones, but if I had to bet, I would bet on OnePlus. So which device should you get? Well. Ultimately, the OnePlus 9 probably offers a better experience, slightly better performance, and for me, better software experience. That said, the Galaxy S20 FE does have a better camera and almost as good performance, and as a result, if you're looking for an excellent performing phone on a budget, you should get the Galaxy S20 FE or save up for the Galaxy S21. You can get both phones for yourself using the links in the description. Thanks so much for watching this video, and again, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if it was helpful to you. My name is Christian, and I'll see you next time. See ya.